What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the five things you should do when you first get your Miata. We're also gonna be taking some time to talk about some of the best first mods to do to the car. So you've just gotten home with your newly purchased Miata. You looked it over the best you could while you were there and also took it for a drive but now you've got it home, so what should you do now? Now I've broken this down into the five categories that I think are gonna be the most important. Obviously there are a lot of variables depending on the particular condition of your car, but this should be a good starting point for most Miata. So first up, and this may seem obvious, but we're talking about fluids and maintenance. The first things that I would do is go ahead and change out all the fluids in the car. I would do an oil change, a diff oil change and a transmission fluid change. This is also a good time to just get underneath the car, really look over the car really well and take note of items that are going to need replaced, things that are worn out. You might also start planning out your modifications at this point, things you want to change on the car or improve. For example, when I got my car, it had almost 200,000 miles on it and the suspension was pretty much completely worn out. I ended up replacing almost every component on the suspension. Miatas can be incredibly fun to drive with a well sorted out suspension. So I ended up replacing literally everything in the front. This is gonna be the coilovers, which I put Megan Racing Easy Street coilovers on the car. I also changed the upper and lower ball joints. Now the lower ball joints are very easy on the front of a Miata, they just bolt in. I then did the inner and outer tie rods. And for the upper ball joints, I ended up completely replacing the upper control arms as they're not very expensive and they come with the ball joint already in so you don't have to worry about trying to press in and out that upper ball joint and you will also get fresh new bushings in the new arms. The last thing I did up front was replace the wheel bearings. The wheel bearing on the front of the Miata is also very easy. It's just remove the brake caliper and rotor and break loose the axle nut and it will slide off of the spindle, the whole hub will. And then that part can just be swapped out for a new one. Replacing these parts made a dramatic difference in the steering feel and overall feel of the suspension on the car. It tightened up the steering feel quite a bit and it now has zero play in the wheel. Turning the car feels very precise and tight and along with the coilovers and a good set of wheels and tires the car handles like it's on rails so another common maintenance item you might want to take a look at when you first get your Miata is to check the ignition timing and also check the cam angle sensor o-ring to make sure it is not leaking the ignition timing on the Miata can easily be checked and adjusted using a cheap timing light you can get at the auto parts store or online and if that cam angle sensor o-ring is leaking and needs to be replaced you will also need it to reset the timing after you remove the cam angle sensor to replace the o-ring. I'll leave some links below to how to's on how to check the timing and replace that o-ring. Another reason you might want to check the timing, especially on a 1.6 car, is just to make sure it is adjusted to the correct range. A common mod on the 1.6 Miatas is to actually advance the ignition timing a little bit. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but if I remember correctly, what this does is actually shift the power band down slightly, making it feel a little bit quicker off the line. Now stock, the timing should be set to 10 degrees. Most people recommend advancing it on the 1.6 to about 14 degrees. I will try and leave some more information about this down below as well. Now going back to those fluid changes real quick. While you're in there doing the transmission, I also recommend changing out the shifter turret fluid as well, which brings me to my next point. The second thing you're gonna wanna do when you get your Miata is do a shifter rebuild. So the shifter rebuild is actually one of the first things I did on my car maintenance wise. I've gotta say it makes a huge difference, highly recommended. Fairly easy to do. What you're gonna need to do is remove your center console shift knob and then you're gonna gain access to the shifter assembly. There are lots of tutorials online on how to do this. It doesn't take very long. Basically all you're doing is replacing all the bushings on the shifter and putting fresh fluid into the little turret housing that the shifter sits down into. This is going to fix any worn out shifter it's gonna make the feel so much more tight, precise, and notchy in a good way, if that makes sense. There'll be zero slop in the shifter and it should just be very accurate and good feeling. Now moving on to the third thing you should do when you get your new Miata. One of my favorite things to do to any car I've just purchased is do a very detailed wash and interior clean. Most of the time when you buy a car, the seller hasn't cleaned it up very well for you. Maybe the previous owner had some old air fresheners or crappy floor mats or just weird accessories or things like that you don't want anymore. Go ahead and get rid of 
with any of that unwanted stuff, it's going to make it feel a lot nicer. If you have an early model car with original paint, it may be single stage and it may be faded. I would recommend giving it a nice buff. It can actually bring back the paint a lot better than you might think. You'll see a lot of red Miatas with original paint that are faded and look kind of pink. Most of the time, that can actually be brought back pretty well with a buff. All right, number four is going to be the interior. I recommend getting a nice shift knob and steering wheel for your Miata. These are the two things you're going to have your hands on the most in the car, and it's going to make the driving feel a lot better if you have a nice steering wheel and shift knob. The NA Miata didn't really come with a very nice steering wheel or shift knob, and most of the times they're gonna be old and worn out. And these are also items that can just help make the car feel like your own. Getting a shift knob that you like the look and feel of, and maybe it's even weighted, is just gonna make a nice difference in the way that the car feels to drive. Now for my last point, before we move on to some of the best first mods to do, number five is gonna be wheels and tires. Tires can make a huge difference in the way that a car performs. The Miata comes stock with some pretty skinny, all season tires. Upgrading these can drastically improve the ride and handling of the car. 15 inch wheels are a very popular size for people putting aftermarket wheels on their Miata. It's a good size that looks good and fits well. There are also a lot of good tire options for this size. A good spec that most people start at and what I'm currently running on my car is going to be a 15 by 8 wheel with a 20550 tire. This is tried and true and is a great fun functional setup on a Miata. Going from the stock wheel and tire setup you're going to notice a huge increase in grip and just overall handling feel. There are also a lot of good 200 treadwear tire options in this size that are fairly affordable. This size wheel and tire will also fit the Miata without a whole lot of work at all. Like I said, my car is lowered on coilovers and all I've done is a mild roll to the fenders. All right, so now with all the necessary maintenance out of the way, let's get to the fun stuff. Let's talk about some of the best first mods to do to the Miata. I went on Instagram and asked you guys your opinion on some of the best mods, so we're just gonna go through some of them now and talk about it. Al.Mantilla says, Number one, wheels, two, tires, three, suspension, four, roll bar, IMO, in that order. And yeah, like we just talked about, I pretty much completely agree with that. Wheels and tires, obviously, we just talked about that. Three, suspension, I highly recommend upgrading the suspension on the Miata. They come stock pretty capable, but I like the feel of having coilovers on there, getting rid of kind of the soft body roll in the stock suspension. Coilovers can definitely make a huge difference. And roll bar, roll bar is one of my favorite mods on the car for sure. This makes a huge difference. When you bolt that roll bar in, it's going to make the entire body feel so much more solid. Everything from normal driving to more spirited use is just going to feel better with the roll bar. It just makes the chassis very solid. Going over bumps is less harsh. Cornering feel is drastically improved. Dylan Owen 7 says rebuild the shifter with the Moss Miata kit and a new shift knob. There's another one we already talked about. Rebuilding that shifter is going to make it feel a lot better. And a new shift knob. Some people like a weighted one, some don't. So yeah, I definitely agree with this one as well. Rotard1989 says Paco Strong Arms is a serious must. Now there are a few different products like this for Miatas. There are the Frog Arms you might have heard of. I'm pretty sure Garage Star makes some like this as well. Now I looked it up real quick and it looks like the Paco Arms actually extend out further than previous designs. Basically all these are are chassis bracing that goes behind the fender and bolts up to where the front door hinges bolt. Now I don't have them on my car but I have driven a car that has these and it makes a big difference. The car seems to turn in very quickly. Also, it gets rid of some of that cowl shake that Miatas have going over bumps. Single B says hardtop. I definitely agree with this. I love the hardtop. I remove the soft top from my Miata. I myself am not really a fan of soft tops. I just don't like the way they look. But I do understand people that want to keep them and have that versatility of quickly being able to go top down. But one of the things that may be overlooked, the hardtop isn't just for looks. It actually adds some rigidity to the chassis. I always notice anytime I take the top off and I'm driving around, I can feel the car just feels a lot more jiggly and less solid. Hardtop's also a good investment. They consistently sell for around a thousand dollars and don't really go down in value. So if you have a good condition to hardtop, you know you have about a thousand dollar value right there. So yeah, I definitely agree with this one. I love hardtops. They look good. Makes the car ride better. Definitely recommend. Peaks Retro says good coilovers. Nothing else is really needed. So you can kind of see a theme here. The Miata is just a really good handling car. So you're going to want to do mods that complement that. Things like wheels and tires and suspension. Noah MX5 Boy says ITBs and a serious suspension 
suspension setup. I've never driven a car with ITBs, but I've always heard it's the ultimate naturally aspirated engine mod. Throttle response is supposed to be amazing. Probably one of the best power adders for a naturally aspirated engine. They also have a very unique sound. Definitely something I might be interested in doing down the line on the Miata. So I definitely agree with Ollie. Some other things you might want to do are just appearance modifications. Things to just make the car feel like your own and look the way you want. This could be anything from paint to lips to spoilers, different bumpers. There's a lot of things available to change up the look of your Miata. Another area you might want to look into upgrading is the brakes. The 1.6 comes with smaller rear brakes than the 1.8. A lot of people actually swap those over for the slightly larger 1.8 rear brakes. I know when I got my car, I went through and refreshed the brakes, new pads and rotors. I also put stainless steel braided brake lines and I used EBC red brake pads, a little bit more aggressive pad than stock. But I think that is pretty much going to do it for me on this video. Hopefully this can get you started in the right direction on your Miata build. For my other Miata owners, what do you think are some of the best first mods or your favorite mods to do to the Miata? Drop it in the comments down below and let's talk about it. Also want to say thank you again for all the love on the videos. Appreciate you guys watching i'm glad you enjoy the videos i just want to make my videos hopefully helpful and entertaining we just hit 400 subscribers on the channel that's 100 subscribers in one week you guys are insane thank you that's awesome but yeah that's gonna do it on this one thank you so much for watching have an awesome week and we will see you in the next one